Uh, uh, Subdarishi Tripathi, the business head at ZQ joins us. Uh, Subdarishi, great having you with us. Congratulations first on the new channel you've launched. Can you give us more details about it? What is ZQ? Will it be under Z-Learn totally or what will be the ownership, ownership structure as far as this new channel is concerned? Uh, thank you so much for the wishes. It is a pan-India launch. Uh, it's a entertainment genre channel and we just recently launched it on the 5th and uh, it is uh, actually a complete launch uh, pan-India. ZQ has a committed investment of about 100 crores over two years, correct me if I'm wrong, and will also probably be a bit of profit after three to four years. Do you think you'll be able to raise funds uh, at a channel level? Well, the investment is uh, substantial and uh, it has been planned over a period of time. The break-even is uh, like any other usual uh, channel or business in about four to five years' time. Mm. Are you looking at any content partner for the channel? Because most channels that operate in this category have some of the other content partner. What's the thinking at your end? Well, the channel is an edutainment channel, which is a genre by itself. Uh, we cater to 4 to 14 year old children. And uh, the content is based on animation as well as live action, which is locally produced. The major differentiator is uh, the content produced for 9 to 14 year olds and as content partners we've got various production houses as well as institutions like National Innovation Foundation some of the most uh, uh, celebrated or most uh, decorated uh, production houses uh, abroad such as Nilvana or Henson and uh, production houses over here as well so that's the production uh, partnership that we're looking at. Mm. What sort of subscription and ad revenues are you planning to get via this launch? Uh, we believe it's a paid channel. Uh, there are a couple of channels which come free as well. How do you plan to stand out? Uh, the channel is a paid channel. It is a subscription driven model. Ad revenues are very minimal because we are specific about what is right for the child and hence the filter for uh, the, uh, the companies which can put their commercials on are very high. Uh, the way the content is going to look different or the business is going to look different is based purely on what is right for the child and that's the driving force. Hmm. What kind of synergies do you see with the schooling business? Can you tell us about the current number of preschools, K-12 schools under Zlearn and the target for the next two years? Uh, we have schools and preschools, about 1,000 plus preschools and K-12 schools across 300 cities in India. In a couple of years, we intend to grow uh, in leaps and bounds, and uh, we intend to be there, be internationally present in recent future as well. I want to repeat my question about synergies. What kind of synergies do you see between the two? Uh, well, the schooling business runs on a particular pedagogy. The filter for channels content is exactly based on that pedagogy. Uh, it is an extension of that pedagogy and uh, this particular school chain and preschool chain is actually the base on which the channel is built on. So there is a tremendous amount of synergy and we are the only education and media company which has an edutainment channel as of this date. So yes, there is a tremendous amount of synergy between the education business and the media business. Mm, all right. Uh India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.